Here we go. Let's find out. And Leo Robertson's in trouble. Leo Robertson is in trouble. The Algerian is slowing. He's going down to the back of the field. Problems for Robertson. Oh, he has fallen to the tail of the field. And Robertson is now going to have to try and salvage something from this race. It looks as though he's going to pull off right at the back of the field. And that's disastrous for the Algerian. He's still circulating, but for how much longer? And the start is actually under investigation, we are told. It's Alexi Constant who is under scrutiny. But Utran and Visser are going to end up in first and second without any problems at all. So there is Cahal Clark in front of Hugo Martiniello. Magnas, Pratt Thompson and Hugo Marty. Then George Nassar in front of Morgan Moore. And then in 10th place, it is Francisco Macedo. Ahead of Sandro Perez and Andreas Dupe from La Torre. Still Caralto, Blankersport, Smith, Robinson and Voss. Ahead of Ronan Hennessy and Alexi Costal. The final lap. And try as he might, Dylan Visser just can't quite get close enough to Clement Utran. Utran may have won two heats if he finishes where he is. But he's not going to get the front row of the grid. Or certainly he's not going to get pole position, I should say, for the super heats. He is going to be on the front row of it, though. So Clement Utran is going to be the only driver to take two race mates. How about this for a little bit of banter? Marty on the inside of Pratt Thompson and Hugo Manias. Manias will not yield. And that gives Pratt Thompson the opportunity to come back in on the inside. Round the outside, Manias is trying to park it to keep Pratt Thompson at bay. And it works well. But Clement Dutran is going to take the victory. He'll be the only driver to win two races. But it will only be good enough to be third in the rankings. And that will put him on the front row for the first superheat. So out of the final turn, Clement Dutran for the second time today takes the checkered flag. The only driver to win twice but he will still be aggregate third in the rankings as Aaron Garcia and Sasha Van Badbosch have both scored fewer points. So a good win for Clement Dutran. Pretty straightforward for the uh, Frenchman, actually. He didn't really have to break a sweat in that one at all. And in second place, Dylan Visser of the Netherlands ahead of the audacious Cahal Clark. Won the IAMA Euro Series title in 2020 in mini. In his second year in junior, he has stepped up with victory lane karting, and that was an almighty drive to get himself up to third position. So, some good stuff so far. Great racing still to come. There's going to be uh, plenty more for the drivers to do. And we'll still get some uh, great racing from them all. So we'll see what the contenders are able to do as the uh, challenges continue on. But what a great result for Clement Utran. Two wins out of three starts. But I'm afraid his uh, eighth place finish in one of them means that he will be third overall. Clement Utran and Dylan Visser from Cajal Clark and Hugo Martiniello. Then Hugo Manias and Cameron Pratt-Thompson. Hugo Marti, Morgan Moore, George Nassar and Francisco Macedo. Then Hugo Latore and Sandro Perez and Alex Caralto, the trio of Spanish drivers. Oliver Stilp finishing in front of Ben Smith for Mick Barrett Racing. Andreas Dupe is ahead of Mick Blankespoor. Leo Robinson, whatever happened, it caused him to drop all the way to 18th place. Rince of Oss, Ronan Hennessy and Alexi Constant with retirements from Baz Vadould and Adrian Alcubierre. And unfortunately, there was a non-start for Natalia Granado Ferrero. And provisionally, all that means is that Aaron Garcia will be pole position for the first superheat tomorrow morning. The second superheat will be headed by Sasha Van Badbosch.